and reports indicate that military component of the Operation Vanguard tasked with combating illegal mining would be withdrawn from next month. The move has been necessitated by the fact that mining guards and 144 drone pilots have been deployed to monitor about 1,000 small-scale miners vetted and cleared to mine. Operation Vanguard was set up in 2017 to combat uh, operations of illegal miners and made up of police and military joint police task force. So we are told that for now, the military will be redrawn and then the whole of the operation will be handed to the Ghana Police Service. They have been questioning as to the rationale behind this decision and um, why this time. So that, that is, a, is a concern that would want to be uh, put into Rail Commander Patrick Sogbojo. Um, he uh, would be joining us shortly. All right, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. And uh, quick correction, you are Wing Commander uh, Sogbojo. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Patrick okay. Sogbojo, yes. I, I mean, how do you take this news of the fact that a team that seemed to have chalked some success it looks as if they want to split them and take out the army component of it and leave the entire operation to the Ghana Police Service. It's, it's amazing and, and, and funny because in the basic training of a police officer, they don't do failed craft. But the military you do failed craft. And if for any reason the, you want to fight any menace in the field, the military can do it. Hmm. The police don't have the know-how to get into the bush and to survey what is going on and to combat it. If the police could have done it, they wouldn't have drafted the military in. Right. So it's, 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 it's really baffling to say at this time when there's more mess than before, you are withdrawing the army and, and put the police. Police are not trained for that purpose. They are not. What, what, what is your fear, or what, what do you think is the general fear why uh, there seems to be some, some public commentary about why the police is being left alone to do this? Why do they not look competent I, enough? I, I, they I honestly competent enough? don't know, but it, it baffles, and to baffle not only military men, but in our constitution, when the police go out to the field to do any work and they can't, they call upon the military. But I'm saying the military training, you do fair craft. It's one of the basic things you do. Because you're going to operate in the field, even the Air Force, I was a pilot against fighter pilot. We're going to support the Army in the field. Mm. It doesn't make sense that you draw those who are trained to work in the field and leave the work for people who are not. Mm. You know, it's not a policing job. And besides, they don't have the manpower. Okay, you, you also um, are a security analyst. What would you advise the Ghana Police Service to do in this case? How can they approach this? It looks as if the final mandate is going to be, or the onus will be on them to uh, help the country get out of the Galamse menace. How should they approach this? I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't. Are we now going to train the police to go and learn their craft? How to read a map and go? Are they going to use the helicopter to find out where they are? What are all these assets the military have? But I think what is certain is that, you see, in a the theater of war, you don't set two similar type of uh, operational units to operate with different uh, command structure. Hmm. You see, the military and police had their command structure and lines of communication. And I think for some reason, the ministerial committee they set up also set up another one. You know, in, in war, if you have 10 countries or 15 countries, you have one allied commander. Hmm. You know, who looks at what you are doing. Hmm. But we have a rival unit set up, and the military shouldn't take the flag of what is going on. Right. Because most of their things is coming from the other one set up and ministerial committee. Mm. The military should come home and I leave it to them to do. They have a duty to do. They shouldn't be dragged into the mud. Okay. That's it, what I'll say. It, it, it may be early days yet, but would you agree with those who are already speculating that um, the 
disappearance of the of the of the excavators could have been the reason and and the entire murky situation that the galamse anti-task force um have found themselves in could be the reason why the army has been no withdrawn. no no you know what we've all been reading we've all been hearing what is going on at no time have they said the military has involved in selling uh, excavator or taking one away military works on the instructions most of the allegations we are coming from is coming from the other rival one set up by the ministerial committee you know a soldier just can't go to the bush and go and command here a pickup or excavator and say let's go to sell it mm. it, it can't be done it's coming from the other side if they feel like they want to open it up so that more can be done i'm sorry i, I i'm speaking from my expertise and what i learned in the military mm. Okay. We, we probably are all uh, waiting with bated breath to see what the next line of action would be. But thank you for making time to speak with us, Wing Commander uh, Sogojo, a security analyst there. The confusion, like many have expressed on social media and co on conventional media, seem to rage on for some days. But hopefully in the coming days we'll get some clarity to this. This is still news at 10 on TV3. Stay